Ah, oh, God. It's the guy. What the hell is that? It's the guy. It's the guy we were telling you about, Jancy, the whole punch man. The Grim Reaper. The ticket taker. Or that. Tickets. Don't let him punch our tickets, then we'll disappear. I don't, where would I even keep a ticket? I don't have anywhere to put them. We ha- I mean, we maybe he just wants to see him. Make sure we're... Did you get tickets? Yeah, we got tickets. Yeah, we have tickets. Yeah. We got tickets. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Is it, did you just want to know? <laughs> um, Helmet. What? One second. I'll take the helmet off. Oh, yeah. you can, uh, It's just us here. You can take yeah, it off. That's yeah. it's, real, it's real scary. Okay. Take off your scary helmet. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a cat. Uh, gee, Mr. Eugene, it's real hot in there. Oh, sorry about that. Eugene? Mr. Eugene, does this cat work for you? What is going on? It's my cat. What? I what? I'm a cat. What? <laughs> you you know this cat? You this, have a cat and this, you didn't show us pictures? This is your cat? I have a cat. I forgot. I forgot that I have a cat. This is my cat, Felix. Why does your cat have human hair? Hello, Mr. Eugene you, and friends. Why can your cat talk? Uh, I thought we weren't allowed to have animal people in this universe. <laughs> Well, I thought we were barred from doing that. I say out of character while looking directly at Julia. I thought we weren't allowed to be elephants or birds or or turtles. And yet here's a cat. Well, technically I'm I'm not a I'm not a cat. I'm a I'm an animatronic. I'm a I'm a catamatronic. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 Eugene's cat. Then um, how do you feel hot in the? Uh, oh, you know, it's just it's it's memories. <laughs> <laughs> Rose has collapsed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot to, to take in. Yeah, all at sorry, once. I'm just a little overwhelmed. You gotta you, understand, Eugene. Yeah, what is happening? What's going on, bud? Explain yourself, my son. You can't just keep secrets from us anymore. Yeah. Your cat's been killing people. Your cat's scary and I don't like it. I've been what? Uh, my cat. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm remembering. Yeah. A little bit. Do a little remember. Okay. My cat was was dead. My cat died. Oh, uh... I'm, so, I'm sorry, bud. And we had just started. Me and someone else had looked into... How to grasp on to spirits and and move them maybe, and so we used my beloved cat Felix and we tried to put him into a little body, but it's been weird. Yeah, I can't I can't feel anything, but it's like I I get the sensations of feeling things. It's very confusing and it 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 uh, it kind of sucks, but. Why did you learn to talk in the process? Mm, I got the option. You can't the option. The feel option. things, but you get the sensation of feeling things. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, you know when people lose a limb and they think oh. that their limb is still there? Oh, it's like, that, it's like phantom that. pain. Yeah, it's like phantom sensation. So I feel like oh. the, yeah. you know, the helmet's it's so all big. of you because you are a dead cat. Y- yeah, I... I I I kind of I just <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry. fancy. It's just it's well I'm at work. I, I like I like to think out of character. I like to think he did it like it's me, Grandmama <laughs> Felix. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I know. I know that technically I don't feel hot in like the big robe and the big helmet, but but you should. But you think you should feel hot. But I feel so like you feel hot. Yeah, like from having a when I was a cat, I would wear all of those blankets, and then I would get too yeah. warm, oh, and that's then I would an have to lay it down image. on like tiles to yeah. cool off. Yeah, yeah, yeah for it's sure, like that. Bud. Eugene, I have a question. Yeah. 
Why did you make your cat have a human man's body? Yeah. May I approach? May I approach? Cat? Felix? Sir? Yeah. I I take a I, I do a little knock like I'm knocking on a door but it's on his chest. Yeah, it's I mean it's all robotics. It's weird. That's weird. Uh, yeah. Eugene. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you do this? Yeah, why did you do it? Why did you do this? Why did you make him tall? My well, my son. Why did you make him like kind of hot? <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked him what what kind of shape he would want. And he said he would want to, you know, be helpful around the house. And also, it was kind of a good opportunity to know, like, if we were moving spirits, could we give them animatronic bodies? And, like, should we? And how would they control it? Would it be too weird? And we discovered, y y yeah, it's, it's too weird. What do you mean, aside from the obvious, what do you mean it's too weird? Well, it's like Fe like Felix said, you know, he, he thinks he can feel things, but he know he can't feel things. And then, you know, there's a bunch of things that animatronic bodies can't do that human bodies do. So if spirits like... go into that, there's a little bit of cognitive dissonance or, or whatever it's called. <laughs> so it's it's oh, a little it's uncanny a little valley. Stupid. <laughs> so I guess that makes I sense. I mean. Sure. That is that you could say that is what makes this uncanny valley. Yeah, but well, he requested a human body, so here he is. I mean, that's that's he pretty looks, cool. Why, why did you request a human body? I just wanted to be helpful with a cat to be head. Helpful. I don't as a cat, I don't have thumbs. Now I get to draw. Oh, oh. that's true. You can't draw when you're a cat. Yeah, yeah. Now I can hold pens, and I can I can work. I have a job. Oh, he's a cat with a job. I'm my a, favorite kind of cat. Yeah, I'm a cat a with train. a profession. <laughs> That's wild. A cat with a job on the train. <laughs> yeah. Wearing suspenders. Oh my God. <clears throat> you might say it's a railway cat. One would say that, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah, one might say that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little orange fella. I would say that. I'm a railway cat. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's just not relevant to anything. Um <laughs> Why are you why were you being the ticket taker? Well, it's my job. What do you mean it's your job? I was assigned the job of of punching all of the passengers' ticket. By who? By the uh, the conductor guy, Con Conduct? Conrad Uchter. Yeah, 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 him. He assigned you the, but we, uh, but we saw you we carrying saw, yeah. him away. Did you kill him? Well, I didn't. <laughs> Conrad really wanted you guys to leave. Uh, he didn't want you on the train, and <laughs> Eugene, Eugene, Eugene seemed to be playing a game with me where he didn't remember uh, me. So I wanted to give him more time. So I, I knocked him out and I, I took him away. Where did you take him? You knocked him out. <laughs> well, your... I brought him here, but then he he got moved somehow. What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's still other people here. No, yeah, now Eugene. Mm hmm You you weren't playing a game. You really don't have your memories, right? Right. Other than that I remember that this is my cat Felix. And you just remember that now because you've seen your cat Felix. Yeah. And Felix. Uh huh. What, did, was there a time recently that Eugene went missing? Yeah. Well, Eugene. Eugene isn't always here. He has his other job, and then he comes back, and we hang out, and you know, he he does the the work here. Wait. What What is here? Uh, it's we're on we're in Gerville. Is it what? I don't know because you're like a cat. Maybe you don't have all the answers, but I am a cat. Yes, we we've got our suspicions a cat with a about what <laughs> it's really cute about Train. what Gareville is. Uh huh. Do you know what Gareville is? It's a city, but like <laughs> it's not a normal. But it it like it's city. a city that doesn't follow like rules of oh, physics. Oh, here, so. let, let I see. Yeah. Do you? I, well, do you? <laughs> I. You're right. I don't have all the answers. 
Um, That's okay. Well, maybe you can you help some? us with some answers. Yeah, so any answers is better than no answers. Let's take another approach to this. Well, you're the ticket taker. Yes. On the celestial sphere. Uh-huh. So that's a train. Uh huh. Is it a real train? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. What is okay. it? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really understand all of the the technicals, yeah. but I, I, I do know where Eugene's how to how to get to Eugene's office. Maybe there's stuff there that might help you. Probably. That seems helpful, yeah. Yeah. This okay. isn't this is your office. This is your room. This is my room. It's cute. Yeah. Thank it you. Cozy. I got bored because Eugene, you know, every time Eugene leaves, I, I I get bored on my breaks at work. Um, so I tried to fill it with drawings. That's adorable. That is adorable, yeah. Yeah. But let's go to Eugene's office. Yeah, we, we can look at those later. Uh okay, so all we all we gotta do. Is we gotta we gotta close the door again, and then we gotta punch in the secret code. Uh, I think I think it's is it like okay yeah yeah uh -huh. yep yeah it's like mine. Eugene made this real easy for me. It's like mine, but then you just fill in this little gap, and then bam. And it's a different room. Oh. Yeah. You punch in a code on the door and it opens to a different room. See, this is what I'm talking about. The, what, this, how, how, how's this? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. Eugene, it's you kinda, live here? Kind of bare bones, Yeah, bud. this sucks. You sleep here? <laughs> this is <laughs> like a gamer apartment. I love the, the <laughs> just like splotches of paint on the wall. Eugene. Oh, it's. it's it's still under construction. I focused on getting the city up and running. Mine doesn't need to be so nice. What do you mean the city up and running? Well, the the Gareville, Gare, Gareville. I remember working on that city. Yeah, this is new information. Okay, what else do you remember? I remember having to get the materials here. I remember having to contact a lot of people to get the logistics up, but I don't remember what my goal was. Um, that box is new. And that's where I sleep sometimes. Oh, that's that's also cute. Eugene, Again, cute. You don't even have a bed. You got I like have a, a cot. Got a cot over there. <laughs> Eugene, I raised you better than this. <laughs> I I really want to check out what's on these this yeah. wall over here. This Bring me like the wall. <laughs> some interesting stuff. Ooh. Okay, let's. Pretty. What's what's in the on the should we start on the left here and, and take a look see? Yeah. What's some of this say? Oh God. Rose, read it to me. <laughs> Gareville construction inaccessible to physical bodies. Hidden animatronic security. Okay, this is kind of going in line with some of the stuff we were thinking. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Eugene, your notes are so cute. Okay. I don't have a pen, best penmanship. I like this drawing of me, though, the bottom. <laughs> it's nice. You don't have That's to pretty call good. yourself that. Hypnotism, difficult to perform on upset people, erasing memories. Takes time, can erase group memories if similar memories... More mimmies, more <laughs> time needed to erase. Memories return with strong reminder. Mm, okay, so mm. you, Eugene, it seems like you knew about the memories yeah, thing. Yeah, Eugene. Mm. Okay, so it lived uh, back there in the old noggin, I guess. Yeah, is this any of this bringing anything yeah. back to you, is buddy? This, is this a strong reminder? Yeah. Do you know what the, yeah, what, yeah I what's mean, getting, what's happening? I think I think what we wanted to do was erase people's memories of getting to the city so that it they wouldn't be so upset by the transition. But why? I don't remember clearly. Physical bodies can't enter the city. Are we not physical bodies? What, where is this a virtual? Are we in a virtual space? Yeah. It seems like some sort of spirit VR shit going on. Yeah. But we were in a VR shit. Are we like, 
were we two VRs deep? I think we might have been inceptioned and two <laughs> two VRs deep. What's inception? Sorry, I meant Benception. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's uh, my favorite action hero, Benception. <laughs> And he always goes into people's dreams and stuff. But Eugene, here's what I'm curious about. Mm-hmm. It says the hypnotism is difficult to perform on upset people. Yeah. But clearly it was done on you. Mm-hmm. But you must have not been upset when it was being done on you. So whoever did it, you must have trusted them when they did it, when they took your memories. Well, you guys weren't upset either. Clearly. Yeah, we must also not known what was about to happen to <laughs> us. We're pretty hard to upset. Yeah, it takes a lot of work to get us that upset. We're usually the ones upsetting other people. Oh, I don't know. Well, there's a few more notes. We got animatronics, repairs, entertainment, security, <laughs> camera in eyes, must be lifelike. Limitations so far, limited facial expressions. Hmm. I do remember the guy who told us he was an animatronic over and over Mm, again. mm -hmm. Only had like two faces he made. Yeah, I think his name was animatronic. Talents needed. (gasps) Oh yeah, can we we look at these? (laughs) Harvey's done a lot of things. He did say he was a man of many talents. (laughs) Is he though? Juggling Wonder, High Flying Harvey. Uh, I can't read that other one. It's awfully small. Oh, there we go. Hot Dog Eating Wonder. <laughs> he, did, he did eat the hot dogs. That's yeah. True. Still doing that one. <laughs> that design is so funny. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> uh, there's a Blarden State poster. Oh, that lady who made Blarden State. That's right. Yeah. Is that Terry over there? Is that a Ooh. very young, is that a young Terry? What a beautiful picture of her. Sharon Lutz. Wait. I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was me. I just, uh, <clears throat> I, I, there was something stuck in my throat and my voice sounded like York. That was a, a really moment. good York impersonation, <laughs> Rosé. Thanks, Mom. I got confused because I heard my own voice say it, but it was Rosé. <laughs> We spend a lot of time together. This poster's rip. Is that Don Jovi? Yeah, we ran into him. There's my boy. Wow. (laughs) Okay. That's a good pick of him. Okay. Wait, what was the other thing? (laughs) I guess it's not important, (laughs) whatever that cat got up to. (laughs) Um, It says, local cat wanted for crimes, including theft, armed robbery, tax evasion, jaywalking, Trespassing, failure wow. to... That's like yeah. every human That's crime. That's a lot of I human crimes. I was thinking crimes, the same sure. thing. That's so many human crimes. <laughs> but there's a ripped poster here. Yeah, the hypnotist. That seems like the one we'd want to see the most. Yeah. Yeah. Jun- January 2nd. Jun- Jun- January. The clam, clam. Didn't... Oh, the wasn't, spelling. Wasn't my event on clam, January clam. 2nd? Uh, on my poster? Oh yeah, the one that is was... Ju- is June a month we have here, or yes. is it just misspelled? <laughs> it's a real long. Okay. <laughs> what, what the heck are the other months we have? Also, York, you don't know how to spell. <laughs> we have Febcember, <laughs> March, <laughs> April, <laughs> um, October. It's a month where we celebrate Bach. Do we do we have? Or can we take out the old evidences? Is it the same day? The same day. It is the second. It does also seem that January is spelled wrong. Well, what the heck? Why what? are you lying to me about the months? I my memory's messed up. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I should know these things, but what can I say? I'm not that bright. <laughs> What's all this shit on the other so, side? So it was probably the same hypnotist you were double billing with then, huh? Or not double billing, but we had that article about how the hypnotist didn't get any, right. any viewers yeah. and you got all the all the, the So hot. it was like competition. Hmm. Yeah, but you were winning, of course. I like this drawing. That's fun. Opera style seating for houses. That's fun. Oh. I like how I did that. For houses. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's, it's on a hill. the ground. <laughs> Seating for houses. Okay, so this is all city planning. Yeah. Huh. 
You're a okay. city planner. Wow. I guess. What an accomplished Wait. young man. Can we read some of these notes? This seems important. Yeah. Okay. Um, Star themed. Build space. in space. Spirit Avoid only. Death imagery. Uh, build in space. Wait, build in space. space. In, sp in space. Where do we get the materials? Hire artists. That's just good advice <laughs> all around. <laughs> That's just a map of the water cycle over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. You invented the water cycle. <laughs> well, I did. Well, it's because uh -huh. I wanted to make a note. About the mountains being up, and that's how we keep the the weather going. I just that's why everything's so tall as well. Oh, just, yeah. Okay. It's tall so that we keep getting you know cycles of weather, and yeah. then also people get the good views Wee. of the rest of the city. Yeah, I mean, I can make it all my own. Eugene, are we in space? Son. You would tell us if we're in space, did, right? Did you take us to space? I don't. Did you take us anywhere? Eugene, are we in our bodies? York, yeah. pinch me. Yeah. Ow. Pinch me. Uh. Ah. Dang, you guys are strong looking pinches. Oh, don't, sorry. Here you go, Grandma. Don't no, 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 no. no. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we both pinch Grandma. I mean, we felt all of that. Oh. Can you feel things in space? <laughs> Good question, York. <laughs> Eugene. Uh-huh. If I pinch you, will you feel it? Uh probably. Yeah, but will gonna, it be a phantom thing? Or... Oh my god. <gasps> I pinch my son's cheeks. <gasps> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what that reaction he made, means. He made a really funny noise. <laughs> I love that. Pull my cheek away. <laughs> <laughs> Our son is so cute. Anyway, okay, so we're looking for a hypnotist, we're looking are for we? A mystery hypnotist. Um, I, I know we had wondered about Harvey because he had that hypnotism wall in his room, but yeah, but all his stuff is three separate. Posters here, yeah, he can't also be a hypnotist. That seems like it'd be up there with the other posters if he yeah. was, unless let's see, he was trying to misdirect us. Remember that old genius. So, have you met all these people? That these well, these posters okay. kind of go to. So we have met Harvey, Harvey. Terry, and Anna, uh, Joe, and Don. I'm Abby. assuming the bar is Abiyomi. Uh, mm. So who does not up there? The who, who else have we met? Kingston the Munch. Kingston. Yeah, but Kingston a, Munch was a missing baby. He's a missing baby. <laughs> oh, did you get? I. I took the I I'm sorry that I took it off your wall, Mr. Eugene, but I thought you might want to see it. I took I took the picture of Kingston Munch off your wall. You did that. I did that. Oh, so have you been leaving all the clues? Have you yeah. been following us? I well, I thought we were playing a fun game where it yeah. wasn't fun. Eugene pretends not to remember. It was fun in between all the parts where you weren't le <laughs> where you were leaving us stuff. Oh. We thought you were gonna kill us. Yeah. yeah. What? If we weren't already dead. No. Did you Ain't did you write cat behavior? the stuff on the posters you left? Did you put the devil horns on Eugene? No. So you were just where'd you get that stuff? I I found it um it was that poster was like in the garbage uh outside it was just like bundled up and, and kind of thrown but um the the rest of the stuff i did uh i did take it and write it on the back i'm sorry what I, is it you i wanted i thought we were playing a game and that it would be fun little clues for you well you did lead us here with yeah. the star map mm, technically all right do you still have the the poster of the hypnotist that no, you ripped off? No, I didn't do that one. Oh, mm. someone else. So that did that. That's, that's just been already like ripped that. down. Wait, yeah. So, have we? Is there anyone else we we met that's not shown on this wall? Because uh, we met Anne and uh, Harvey. I'm having a thought. Oh okay. yeah, Jancy, you're good at those. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> the best among us. Well, uh, most of my thoughts had left me. Recently, but the old gears are turning again. <laughs> That's our mom. Yeah. So it says, so 
It's a hypnotist, right? Yeah. 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 And the goal of the hypnotist is to for Erase this place memories. Erase memories. Okay. To help people not be scared of being a spirit. Uh, correct. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in this city <laughs> is uh, a spirit, right? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Be but no one knows that. I I don't I didn't know that. You didn't know that. No. No, it is a little disconcerting. Yeah. And mm. you don't remember getting onto the train slash well, it seems like the train was actually just a a little uh service hallway. In the shape of a train car, Go but figure. So okay, you don't remember. We none of us remember how we got here or on the train. We so, don't remember how we got here, but we came here because you told us to. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we, we must have consented to the hypnotism process on the other side. Something must have well, happened. Not necessarily. Oh. If it says that it it erases more memes. Or group memories. Maybe the person erased how you got onto the train and a little bit before that. But if it takes more time and Eugene here does not have all of his marbles, as it were, <laughs> maybe they spent most of their time on Eugene and could only spare a little bit of time on the group because you don't remember the case and then getting on the train. And I don't remember anything. No, I didn't. Hmm. And Eugene. So you thinking it got cut short when they were doing us? Probably. They had to spend so much time wiping Eugene. He has because so many Eugene memes. worked on on the city. Yeah, yeah he got a lot of memes. So he had to. Oh, memes. Er, he his brain had to be erased. That's our boy, full of memes. <laughs> no brain. <laughs> no brain. Full of memes. Brain delete. <laughs> Throw it I'll in the get recycling it back bin. One day, <laughs> we'll love you no matter how much brain you have. Sorry, Mister Eugene. I guess why I was thinking we must have consented to it is because it's difficult to perform on upset people. What and, if and we imagine, were all taken by surprise? That would upset me. Yeah, we're very. Belligerent. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was performed? I don't think anyone could surprise York without getting pissed on. <laughs> That's true. It's a reflex. It's a defense yeah. mechanism. Powerful. Yeah. Just shoots them away. Yeah. Gives me time to get up and get my arms warmed up. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to yeah. figure out. I'm trying to figure out when. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Could it have been when we were we were sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd need to be awake, I imagine. I mean, I imagine, but well, they can't hypnotize me without me knowing they're hypnotizing me, right? How quick can they do it? Yeah, I remember it being pretty quick. Well, oh, so now you remember? They put you into the trance. Well. Like Jancy proved, the the memory stuff is is coming in slowly. Well, okay, wait. We got some questions we got to figure out here. Yeah. Yeah. What about Conrad Uchter? Oh, I don't like that man. What don't you like about him? He's mean. Yeah. Yeah, we got that vibe too. Yeah. Maybe we were right to be kind of annoying to him. But here's the thing I'm wondering, right? Uh-huh. We saw Eugene's poster where it said Celestial Spear is free. A free experience. Right. And then we got here, checked our receipts. It was a bazillion million dollars. Yeah. yeah. Con Conrad Uchter did not seem like, he seemed like he was expecting people to show up having paid for these tickets to this experience. Mm. He didn't seem like surprised to see us coming in the train, which I guess used to be a service hallway. So like he must be part of the monetization effort, right? Yeah. Hey, 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 meow, meow. Yeah. What's so mean about him? Has he ever bullied you? Sometimes before people even finish their experiences, he asked me to punch their ticket. And um, he doesn't ever ask how I am. And he uh, just 
he only seems concerned with money, really. Mm -hmm. And he always just, sometimes people come onto the train and then he just has me punch their tickets immediately. And that's not part of the rules. Mm. Oh, you think he's he's just getting their money and not even giving them an he's experience. Them. And also, sometimes he has me check on the the like the restaurants and the movies and like the arcade. And I, originally, I thought it's because he wanted me to have fun, but he wanted me to see um, if they had customers and if they if they didn't have a lot of customers. Um, I would have to report it to him. But I never ever told him if a place didn't have customers. I like your That's cat. right, buddy. I like your cat, Eugene. We don't narc on friends yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, Felix. Well, good good on you for knocking him out. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if it was him though. What? I when I um mm. when I knocked him out it made a weird noise. So like oh. uh like uh I knock <laughs> I knock Felix's yeah. chest again. It's like this, yeah? Oh, he yeah. had a decoy. Mm. Conrad was an animatronic. Who would have thought? He didn't have a lot of facial expressions again. I mean... <laughs> Dang it. Hard to tell sometimes. He was... Well, he looked different. He looked slightly different the second time we saw him from the first time. Do you think Is it could have been security? Ooh. A security animatronic? Mm. Second time? Maybe. Wait, how did he look different? It, it's like one of those like spot the difference. It was like very slightly different. Yeah, I'm really bad at that. I didn't even notice. Something... Grandma, mm. your eyes. Well, it, it only just occurred to me. Your mind and your eyes Whoa. since we were talking about it. Because I, kind of, like, I noted it in the back of my mind <gasps> and then didn't the think about it. Of and now it's coming to the fore. Hmm. Who knows how many fake Conrad Uchters there are? We can't be sure. Is there for sure a real one? I think so. Right? Is could he? <laughs> Is it possible <laughs> that there's no real Conrad Uchter? <laughs> it's just a concept of our imagination. Concept Uchter. Peculiar. I mean, it, it seemed like from all the notes we, that were so kindly read to me by Rosé, and I didn't read any of them myself because I can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, money, <laughs> money issues seem to have been a problem at the forefront of your mind here, Eugene. Mm, yeah, it's it costs a lot of money to make an entire city in uh, in space. Turns out, and it's not even a physical. Why were you making an entire city? My son, my little boy. Well, from what I remember, I was making a city for spirits to live in so that they could slowly pass. I'm remembering mm -hmm. that in my job uh, as a medium, I got so tired of people being so scared of dying and death. So I made a place that they could go to and just have fun until they slowly fade nice and peacefully. Because all I ever got were messages about how scary it is. Or they always wanted to give messages to their families saying that they were okay or, or whatever. It's, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. So I made a city, but it's a physical city so that they could interact with it. So, and so you were putting the spirits into animatronics... No, I, I'm pretty sure Felix is the only animatronic one. And I think the animatronics are just for repairs in the city. Okay. Because it's in space. Yeah. We're in space. Yeah. Eugene, it's... this is all beautiful and very thoughtful of you, but uh, there's a problem. Uh-huh. We're not dead. How yeah. are we here? Yeah, that is an issue that I'm also grappling with. At the I'm moment. also presumably not dead because I was moving materials. Yeah, you better not be dead. And organizing things. <laughs> I mean, I'm pissed. <laughs> I think I'm not dead. I think we're all not dead, which Unless begs the question. Me. Well, clearly living people can get here because that's how it's currently being monetized. Yeah. Someone took your beautiful... Don Jovi's not dead. Don Jovi better not be dead. <laughs> yeah, Someone... he doesn't deserve this. They took your beautiful idea you had to help souls pass on and turn mm -hmm. it into a damn money-making machine. 
Ugh. Yeah. Whoever they is. Always a damn money making machine. I think I had people sign up before they passed if they knew that they were going to pass, that they had the option of signing up. Do we think that this person had the same I- idea but but had them pay up front? I mean, we have receipts to show that people paid. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened. Well, how how do we <laughs> I kick the wall. <laughs> <laughs> should I punch something? I'm, yeah. I'm, fe- I'm feeling a lot of feelings right should now. I, should I take all these posters down and put them in my pocket? Do we know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> who, who do we suspect right now of doing all of this? Conrad? Well, I... Yeah. Well, I, now I'm not so sure anymore. I mean, we have to assume that if they're on this wall... They're probably not in on it. Yeah, because they were the talent that was being scouted for Gareville. Yeah. So- but also that means that they knew about the city. What if one of them went rogue, as it were? Well, because you- they knew about the city and uh, saw a money-making opportunity. Don Jovi would never do that. Don Jovi is too sweet of a child to do so. Yeah. It's not Don Jovi. I'm just thinking about all the people we met seem to be pretty engrossed in their yeah. in their jobs. I would I would rule out Terry cuz I liked her. <laughs> and Terry, well, we know that Terry was working with Eugene. Yeah, do you remember anything new about Terry or whatever her name is? Presumably Sharon. it was it was this project they were working Sharon. on. Sharon. Sharon, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Sharon helped me research she's the one that helped me figure out if you know how to move felix's spirit into the into the body that was my next question if she was the other person in the we who brought felix into animatronic (laughs) good one rose yeah she was (laughs) she was pretty uh interested in the science of it as well would you say she's like a mother to you (laughs) Uh, more like a, a grandma partner in business. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. So she's a trusted person. Yeah, I like Sharon. I also like Sharon. And I don't get the vibe that she was really after, like making a killing. Yeah. She just wanted to do her her spirit stuff, and yeah. was more interested in that. And like the movie director, Anne. Anne. She was just making the movie. Abayomi is a bartender. Yeah. And like a really good one, but it's not like a, you know, I just I just didn't get vibes from these people that they yeah. were after something else. Maybe it was Joe Bean. She was acting suspicious. <laughs> she was very peppy and her hair was huge. <laughs> didn't even recognize the prince of the northern tribe standing right in front of her. <laughs> yeah, she did an, have her memory wiped. As an employee of Joe Bean's, I have to say, I don't think she was up to anything Malicious. So we all agree it was Joe Beans that did it. <laughs> York, it's fine if people don't know you. Joe Beans was the culprit all along. Everyone agrees. Go arrest her, Felix. I Felix, don't, don't do him. that. <laughs> She's the one that gave me the cup to put the pin in. You put the pin in the cup. Yeah, and then I drew the stars on the back. I was on break, so I wanted to get a drink. <laughs> you are so freaking cute. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Wait, where did you get the pin oh i f- i found it on the on the ground in the hallway <laughs> wait on the ground in the hallway like the train hallway like the the service hallway, service hallway. yeah the the train hallway you guys probably entered from there jancy or wait did that fall out when jancy showed up i don't know i wasn't there yeah, but that's me, where me i found either. it that makes sense <laughs> you're right it was stupid of me to ask <laughs> I pet your little human tuft of hair. Thank you. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that it's a wig. I want it to blend in. I would never tell anyone it was a wig. It looked real to me. I thought it was natural. I like it. <laughs> so my pin was found in the hallway, in the service hallway? It looked kind of fucked up. Do you think maybe there was a struggle? Do we think that I was hypnotized and then... I mean, these are not my clothes. Oh. No. Clearly, please. <laughs> it's a fun sort of party look for you. Yeah, I think it's cool to see you branching out. Not yeah. quite my style. No, but, but I'm just saying, but if, you, if you want to do like a casual Friday at the office. You can pull it off. 
like it's an option noted <laughs> yeah okay noted. well um <laughs> the only things i found on me were this uh name tag that said fen- fancy bean fancy brew yeah <laughs> <laughs> whatever i'm trying to get the rest of this into my brain it's a lot i'm confusing the new memories old memories you, yeah. joe, confu- you didn't marry joe beans did you <laughs> oh my god Here comes fancy beans. i'm not married to joe beans <laughs> okay yet are you twins yeah are you engaged <laughs> I'm not. No, she's my boss. That would be inappropriate. That would be inappropriate. But true love doesn't care about what's appropriate. <laughs> if there's something between you two. Uh, there isn't. Okay. We're rooting for you. Yeah, we just want you to be happy. Chancy, you got to tell her how you feel. <laughs> you got to. You're going to regret it if you don't. I feel like this is distracting us from the matter at hand. The what? <laughs> Chancy, nothing is more important than your happiness. You know what would really make me happy? Not being possibly dead anymore. That's true. I kicked the wall again. Is there anything on the back of any of these sheets of paper? I don't see anything. Nope. But I'm also not very observant. <laughs> okay. You all suspect possibly Conrad. Possibly. Yeah, it's a safe choice. Okay. Do we know where his office is? Felix. Felix? Meow, meow. Mm. My guess is that he's probably in the service hallway since he has to get to all the people when they enter the train. But will it be the real Conrad or a double? Or Con Bad? <gasps> Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, go talk to Conrad. It went so well the last time. <laughs> yeah, he loves talking to us. If we've ever even met him. I don't want to be back here. It does fill me with dread. I've got bad memory. Well, now that I know it was you, Felix, the memories Hello. aren't so bad. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hooray. You did punch that dude, though, here, and he looked pretty horrified about Yeah, the that experience. was a little scary. <laughs> Why was it scary? Well. A hole appeared in him, and then he, yeah. he, he disappeared. Uh, oh. When you punch someone... Do they die? I didn't think about it. Does their spirit pass on? Is that what's happening? Or are they being sent back to the physical physical world? world? I still am kind of unclear on whether we're in the physical world or not. We're in space, and in space, spirits can interact with... Yeah, and like we can like touch each other. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I pinched Rosé. And I pinched York, and we both both pinched pinched Grandma. Grandma. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Gareville is a physical city, but not for physical people. But there are physical people in it. Working? Well, it seems like they're all animatronics or like spirit manifestations. Yeah. So the Don Jovi that we met, mm-hmm. that's not physical Don Jovi. Correct. Don Jovi's somewhere dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Don. We'll find we'll give you a proper burial once yeah, you get back. We'll lay you to rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next mystery. Oh, we gotta get out of here and inform Buzz. But yeah, so everyone has been transported there in sp- spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except for Felix. And Eugene. I don't know if Eugene's here. I guess it's probably Eugene's spirit too, huh? Yeah. Can I can I give Eugene a firm knock on the chest? It's just flesh. <laughs> yep. Okay. Just a fleshy knock. <laughs> All right. Well, what about that door we couldn't go in before? That door at the end mm, of the hallway. Yeah. Is that yeah. available to us? Yeah. Yeah. This one. We've been thinking about this door ever since. Yeah, ever since one. we walked past it and Eugene told us to look at it yeah. and then we couldn't open it, so we walked past it. And we ragged on you then, Eugene, but <laughs> right now. Maybe you were right all along. Starting to seem like you were onto something. Yeah, I kicked the door. Do you know how to wait? <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, do you remember how to open this door? Yeah, what's no, the combo? I don't this was never a, a door that I made. This oh, was never this is a door a, that you made. This is a surprise door. This is a new door. This is new. Felix, do you know this door? 
Oh, this door has been around. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has <laughs> this whole time. Uh huh. Do you know how to open it? No. Oh. I'm assuming that it's it's buttons like yeah, it's got to be a combination, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you do you know what the combination is? We must have a clue that tells us what the combo is. Do you have anything? Did you did you pick up anything that <laughs> you haven't uh, found a purpose for? I know. <laughs> I know Rosé has Goo Gaga, I think. <laughs> Rosé pushed Goo Gaga up on the door. I pushed Goo Gaga up on the door. <laughs> All right, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. I, I slapped him. the door with my slippy hand. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't hold on to it. No, I can't. I won't, oh, I can't. Oh, 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 oh Jancy, I, I missed you so much. How did you know I was going to pull out Goo Gaga? I just had a feeling. <laughs> the necklace. Is it the necklace? <laughs> Did you want me to pull out the necklace? <laughs> I throw the necklace at the door. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was thinking about the necklace, but it it doesn't really How match up with the does door. Does it? Tilt it around. It's got that like shit. a three and, and, and a two. Uh, it doesn't really... Can we like line it up somehow and tells us which buttons to press? Should we keep tilting it? Maybe. How do we know how it lines? Is that how it lines up? How about if the the bottom part, the straight line, touched the top of the the straight line at the top of the blue part? Y'all yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it? It kind of <laughs> looks like this is the only way it fits in. What? I guess this or like the other way. Yeah, this is what I described. Yeah. Okay. So let's try tapping. Can the we three, try to tap those? The three things at the the big circles. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we do the little circles. And the too. little ones too. Oh, that oh. makes sense because of the little dots. Oh, because they line up with little spots. Did we do it? Whoa! Oh. Ah. There he is. You. Conrad Uctor, you old dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> you fucked up little guy. Nah. We oh. didn't like you from the start. <laughs> I does, kick him. He does have a little pocket watch. That's hey. like a hypnotist thing. Oh mm. my God, it is. You fucked up little guy. What is all this shit? Slime? Yeah, what's with all the slime? You making slime in here? Starting a slime Instagram? <laughs> what's an Instagram? You little Instagram. A slime Instagram. I oh. can't believe that a squad of however many idiots this is. One, two, three, four. Well, Jancy's not an idiot. Yeah. Figured out. Jancy's five idiots. Five and idiots and Jancy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that five idiots plus the Jancy True figured out where what's happening and what their memories are. That was really smoothly said. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just, I never thought you didn't I'm a little think we'd get this far, so flustered. you didn't practice. Didn't write your villain monologue, did you? Yeah. You certainly did not. Well, luckily, we have our monologue. Wait. <laughs> and we're going to all say it together. I bet you don't even know <laughs> what is happening here. No. Slime. It looks like slime. <laughs> we know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, quick. What? Let's make sure this guy isn't an animatronic. Someone I kick him in the kick chest. Him. Kick him. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Did that sound like flesh to y'all? It sounded like it flesh. Okay. I know what, what kicking flesh sounds like. I oh. wasn't sure because I thought I heard a crack, but uh, maybe I that just imagined might it. Might have just been his sternum. Might have just been his sternum. <sighs> it's a really high kick. <laughs> Robots don't have sternums, no. and I'm very no, they tall. Don't. <laughs> I know what this goo is, and I am furious about it. Oh. Let me take a guess. Is, is it, this spirit goo? Is it spirit goo, Eugene? Is it's it spirit. spirit. It's dissolved spirit. Ew, these are people? What the hell? And it's that's fucked up. Well, I had to figure out how to power the train, since you didn't do that for me. It's not even a real train. It has to power the teleporters and everything that helps the spirits move into this space. Eugene got so close to solving all of it. 
He just didn't want to use the spirits as they could have been used. Well, that makes sense, dude. That's messed up. Yeah. yeah, this is nasty. This is nasty shit. He could have just made a ton. He had so many talents lined up, and he just didn't monetize them. He could have monetized them and paid for everything and saved for some for himself and had a great life on Earth, and he just didn't. And why do you care about that? Well, it's my train now, and now I get to have, I get to take all of the money that the sales of these tickets make, and I get to have a great extravagant life on Earth. And that's why you erase Eugene's memories. This train was supposed to be mine. He told me about this train and all of the possibilities, but he's a young idiot who didn't want to make money off of this this guy's so old-fashioned yeah we got some real big boomer energy coming off this guy right here (laughs) boomer eugene who is this guy why were you working with him is he your dad why shouldn't i are you eugene's dad are you eugene's real dad (laughs) why shouldn't i take answer the question (laughs) why shouldn't i take money for myself i think at this point i've earned it I have earned all of the money that this place earns. I changed all of the stupid, lofty contracts that Eugene wrote up so that I could take the profits that these talents made and turn it into a good money-earning business. I tell you what you've earned. It's a one-way trip to arm jail, buddy. Get Get in here. Get him. No. No. I grab him in my arms. You don't even know how to get back. Oh, how are you going to get back? We're going to be stuck here together, aren't we? Yeah. Me arm right jail here is permanent. You in arm jail. Yeah, it sounds like you've got a lot of stuff you, you, you don't like know. back on Earth. <laughs> you don't know how to get back out of arm jail. Yeah, Even so life will never be the same when you're in here. We've come to an impasse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a standoff. It's a, it's a stalemate. <laughs> Even if you grab me here, it's just my spirit. It means nothing. I get away scot-free. Wait, what? That's we're we're just works. spirits here. When you go back to your physical bodies, I go back to my physical body, and you don't know where that is. Can can you get back to your body while I'm holding you in arm jail? <laughs> well, we're stuck here together, like you said. That, exactly. <laughs> oh, so I so feel like a process. So we're at an impasse. We've got a yeah, you know an exchange of information we could we could do here. Of what information? Gets me out of arm jail. <laughs> we haven't thought that I far. Had, I hadn't thought no, that far just, ahead. You, last time, we, once we got the person into arm jail, uh, and and that we, was it. We solved. We figured it out. Yeah, yeah. we won. So we're, you know. Mm-hmm. So let's let's, let's uh, give us a moment. Yeah, give us sir. a moment. Yeah, you just, just sit there quietly. Make yourself comfy. Yeah, just I can't believe jail. I'm the world's best hypnotist. And I couldn't make any money off of it because no one's interested in it anymore. So no one comes to see my shows. And now I'm here on the most equitable business that the world has ever seen. And now I'm stuck in a stupid arm jail, as you call it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen, no one's happy to end up in arm jail. Yeah. But, but you know you, you've been doing crime, so... It's where you go. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. I've been doing crime, but you can't do anything about it. Eugene. Eugene. Mm. What do you mm. what do you think? Yeah, what, what is what happening? Are you making of this? Mm. Who is this man? Were you just friends with him because he was a hypnotist? Is he your dad? He's not my dad. You're right. We're your dad. Trick Why question. were you working with him? Is his real name not Conrad Uchter? No. Yeah, that would be a weird name to have if you're not a conductor. (laughs) Who is he? If you were more educated in uh, the world of hypnotism and our world, (laughs) you would clearly know the name Leland Bohr. Hey, Eugene. Nothing? Eugene. Hmm. Leland. I read a newspaper article about you. It said your so- show sucks shit and no one went to it. <laughs> Actually, I read that. <laughs> yeah. You listened to it. Yeah, but well, I read yeah. it directly into York's ear. Like an so, audio book. Yeah. Like, the only reason my cool. show didn't <laughs> sell is because no one's interested in hypnotism anymore. 
I am great. And we're still not interested, dude. We just want to get back <laughs> and like get all these other people back. We want to save Don Jovi. Yeah, we want and, to get the people yeah, and back Eris, in their bods. so she can make us see Valanius again. Well, unless he's a murderer, I'm pretty sure all of the talents here still have physical bodies somewhere. So it's just their spirits. So how so do we I get them back? So I think they're fine. Can we free these spirits yeah. that are being used for the slime? For slime? No, I think they're they're Gone. space dust now. Oh, jeez, that's brutal, man. How could you do something like that? I needed a way to power the train. Besides. You know, before this, they're supposed to be dead. They're supposed to be gone. <laughs> gone, Who cares? Dad, you killed that's, dead people. That's, that's like double murder. That's double. That's, it's nothing. The, Super turbo murder. The beautiful truth of what happens to our spirits after we die, and you've destroyed them. This that's one of the most horrible things <laughs> someone could do. Yeah, that's like this great mystery that is the afterlife. Yeah. We've actually found tangible proof of what it is and you and you're like, you let's destroy st it. Let's stick it in an engine as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Let's Everyone... make it into fossil fuels. This is gross. You're a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> like maybe, like maybe this isn't technically illegal, but I feel like this is like a big ethical crime. Like this is gross. What? I just what? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter. They're dead. Oh my god, dude! They're they're dead now. It doesn't matter to me. They've they've paid. They get to have a fun time. The point of this of this experience or this or train, quote unquote, is so that people are less scared of their inevitable death, according to Eugene. So yeah, yeah they get to go into it not being so scared. And then I just I I. Use it for the higher paying customers. That's uh, fine. This guy sucks. Yeah, there's, no, there's suck. no use to bait in a guy like yes. this. York, yeah. shake him. I'm going to shake him. I'm going to shake you up a little bit, okay? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's the point of this? It, ma it makes us feel oh, yeah, a little you better. You didn't like it, did you? No. Well, that's the point. Yeah. yeah, shake him some more. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna um, have to animate that. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, so what? Okay, so here the situation is: mm. we we're we're spirits. Our spirits have been removed from our physical bodies, mm -hmm. and we don't know how to get back to them. And if we do leave here, then this guy just gets to go on continuing doing this because he'll be back in his physical body somewhere else i think that now that i remember some of what's going on i'll be able to get us back to our bodies okay and maybe i can send him back to his and uh god for everyone else that's stuck here maybe i can come back and update them on what's going on and then send them back if they if they want i mean i'm, I'm guessing they're going to want to but what's to stop this guy from hypnotizing everyone again and making us all forget again? Yeah, he keeps doing that. Uh, York, take his pocket watch. Okay. But that's just his spirit pocket watch. Yeah. Okay, here's a thought. He's stuck here. If we go, if we go back first, I can alert someone to go get him, his physical body, and then if he tries to go back, uh, we'll get him then. Otherwise, he's just going to be trapped here doing what? The person mm. who turned, who dissipated everyone into spirits is, is poor Felix over here, who I don't think understood what was happening. I he apparently did not. He's just a cat. I'm just a cat. I Don't worry about it, Felix. You, you, you have no responsibility for this. Yeah, you're Typical just a cat. Cat behavior, honestly. <laughs> You wanted to be helpful. I wanted to be helpful. Before, all I could do was communicate by pushing things off of tables. Yeah. But I wanted to be able to c communicate and help. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. Can we, like, detain this guy in here? Yeah. So that he can't get to wherever yeah. he needs to get to get back to his body and then... Mm. If, if, like, Eugene and Jancy go to take care of 
his body. We got to put him in the soup. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to slam you into a tub of hot gazpacho, you old son of a bitch. We're, we're better than you in that we won't turn you into horrific death slime, but we are very annoying, I'm told. I'll go get the soup. <laughs> <laughs> so we can keep you company in arm jail until maybe your body is under... Oh yeah, yeah. Eugene, right? if you if you Is and Jancy, yeah, if you and Jancy can go back, then we can just hang out here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can eat some of that gazpacho. Yeah, it was pretty good. Isn't that right, Leroy? It's Leland. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds um, that sounds good. Deal. Um, all right, um, Jancy, let's go. Look at that. It's uh, Eugene and his grandma going That's on so a mission beautiful. together. Even though he's got his memories back and he's not stupid anymore, he's still our son. I'm so proud of he's him. He's grown up so much. He's still an idealistic idiot, if you ask me. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one's stone. <laughs> yeah, it. get ready for the talent you didn't expect on this train. Us, <laughs> the rudest little detectives, <laughs> this side of Gareville. I just, I just don't understand what the problem is with taking the talents and skills of other people, okay, and giving them a place where they can utilize it. They're happy where for, they for work your, for your profit. I'm the one who's providing them with customers. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who's providing them with a place to work. I just think, you know, I've, I've earned it. Yeah, I want to ask you this question. If all of them went away, would you be able to make any money without any talent? I'll just get someone else. I'm saying you have no talent. Can you make any money? <laughs> I am a world. Now, if you go class. away, if you disappear, can they still make money off their talents? Yeah, they can. Yeah. 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 York, shake them. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I, I wasted time feeling bad I was rude to you. <laughs> yeah. I felt, I felt really bad. I was like, I, I laid it on too thick with that guy. I was too mean. Yeah, once we solved this, we were going to come back and leave you a really good belt review. Yeah, I was going to apologize if I saw you again. But you know what? Now we're just not going to acknowledge this at all because this sucks and I hate you. When I saw you being held by the Grim Reaper, I was like, oh no, that poor man. Yeah. Last that thing wasn't we even did you. Was be mean to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was, that wasn't even you really. Yeah. I can't believe this stupid cat tried to get in the way. I'm back with that soup. Yeah. <sighs> All okay. right, dunk oh, yeah. time. Dunk him. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to dunk? Dunk. It's going to dunk. Everyone get a hand on this yeah. ball. Yeah. Oh. I'm in. Oh. This soup is cold. Yeah, get used to it. This, oh. this is the cold, hot, and sour <laughs> soup. <laughs> oh, I hate that soup. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> is this... Is this stupid Alexander's doing? Alexander. Whatever that that king. No, I'm sorry. I renamed him as Duke Kingston Munch. That's a good name, though. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that that's was the only that was good a thing you did. Solid name. Did you wait? Did you come up with the names? Of course I did. You think everyone has a name that reflects their job? See, see, you are talented. You could you could use those talents coming up with yeah. fun names. You could be like a like a, a children's book author. Yeah. There's no something. glory in that. Or a writer. There's Children no are glory. stupid. There's no glory. <laughs> <laughs> Murdering souls. <laughs> They're already dead. They're not alive. Oh They're souls. Ugh. Ugh. There's just no point in talking we to someone. I just feel to I just feel gross talking to yeah. him. Of course I renamed people and then some of them <laughs> renamed themselves, which well, you know, whatever. It's fine. Don Jovi didn't rename him. Oh, Don Jovi's an idiot. I didn't even bother to try to erase his name. 
He can't remember anything. He helped us. I'll tell you this right so now. So much. Be grateful we didn't meet in the northern tribes, because if we had, you would find yourself chopped in half hamburger style by this point. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I don't no even know respect. what that means. Oh, hamburger it's... style, like you want to share it, so it's horizontal or, ver or vertical, like a like in between he, the he patty and the know. bun. This guy sucks. This guy's got no honor. He doesn't this even guy know. Sucks. He's got no honor to take away. It feels like hamburger style would be preferable to like French fry. Uh, no yeah. honor. No honor no in this. Honor. Not a, not a, a not smidge. A, not a single I turn drop. him upside down in the soup so he can't talk anymore. <laughs> oh my oh, wait. God. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> okay, okay. That's enough of that, York. We're better than him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. I mean, do, do we need to breathe? We haven't established that. Oh, that's a good point. No, I don't Let me know. Get, I'm, I'm going to get in the soup. Yeah, put your head in the soup. I grandma. put my head in the soup. <laughs> do I need to breathe? Oh, I don't need to breathe in here. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. We can I'm, put him upside down. Yeah, on the soup put him back upside I'm down. Gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> keep my face in here to make faces at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes Harvey's talent even worse. He doesn't even need to breathe in the stupid water. Wow, I wonder, trick that he turn does. him over quicklier. I wonder if he figured that out. I doubt it. He's also an idiot. Seems like he would have stayed under for a little longer if he had figured that out. <laughs> wow. Oh, guys, uh, uh, we found we found Lee Lin's place, and we found his body. We have him detained. Uh, Jancy's over there. So, oh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna chuck him into the teleporter, which I guess is a thing that I've made. It's still a little <laughs> hazy. Maybe he made it. Classic Eugene. I don't really know how it works, but does this I mean guess. we'll see you in the real world, buddy? <gasps> Our beautiful son. Yep. <gasps> where you have? All right, where you have a lot of money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we and are your parents. And we are your parents. Well, we, we, and you love us. I don't know that he has a lot of money because this whole thing is not. Wanting to yeah, I probably spent it, didn't you? Stuff. I I do think I spent it all on this thing. Well, that's that's a well, beautiful that's a beautiful yeah. thing yeah. that you spent your money on. We love how giving you are. It's a yeah, noble cause, even if it's not to us. It's stupid. It's the currency of the we heart. We know, Conrad. All right, I'm chucking him into the teleporter. Chuck him. Let's Woo! do it. Uh, he pushes uh, Conrad in, uh, and Conrad's gone, or Leland more, is gone. More like Conrad. A nice one, Grandma. Wait, wait, more like gone not rad because he's not rad. A he's getting a little belabored, but I still like it. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> more like he's the real con. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You, sure. You're starting to get it. Did I do it? You did it. Oh, we're so proud of you. Thank you. All right. Are you guys ready to go back? Very. God, yes. Please get us out of here. <laughs> Felix, I'll be back soon. Okay, Mr. Eugene. Bye, Felix. Bye, I Felix. love you, Felix. Oh, bye, friends. <sighs> Ooh. Ugh. Hello. God. Okay. Whoa. Eugene. You uh, look so real. Is this real? Yeah. Don't kick him. I Please don't. gently tap on <laughs> his chest. <laughs> Hello. And then I pinch his cheeks because he's my <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> That's our boy. We did it. Uh, you guys did it. Um, <laughs> we definitely did it. Wait, yeah. Grandma, make sure you have to breathe. Uh, is there any soup? Just uh, hold your no. breath. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to hold my breath if there's no soup. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I. <gasps> okay. Whoa. Confirmed. We made wow. it out. Wow. I mean, I just told you that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm sorry that. I'm a little lightheaded now. <laughs> oh, do you need to sit? There's yeah. a big comfy chair here. Oh, that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the stuff. Uh, oh. <laughs> welcome to my office, by the way. This is my workplace. This is where I do some of the shows. So. Oh wow! Oh, nice yeah. curtains. Thank yeah, you. These are nice. Thanks. Hey, I'm I'm sorry that this whole thing turned into such a a debacle. I I didn't think I didn't think that Leland would do what he did. Well, lofty goals do lead to existential horrors, so Yeah. 
Yeah, Rosé's always saying that. <laughs> At least once a day. She's been right every time. <laughs> I guess, you know, never underestimate the lengths a, a mean old man will go to to make some cash. Yeah. To ruin it for everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. But you had the best of intentions, Eugene. Yeah. It was a beautiful thing you made. I just wonder if I was messing with something that shouldn't be messed with. I, maybe I should have just left things doing the way that they've been doing. I don't know. I mean, you have a gift. You're able to talk to spirits. And if this was a, a common problem that spirits were experiencing when they died, then I, I think it was it was a nice idea to try and help the process along and yeah. it seems it's just, like the the main hiccup was that it it was very expensive and also you decided to trust a guy who was uh evil uh, yeah just awful those are like the two big problems with it i didn't want to charge anyone for it it's just the the people who were scared i wanted to be able to alleviate some of that because not all spirits have it rough it's just the ones that get stuck you know i yeah i yeah. hear one or two complaints i heard one or two and you know enough complaints that it's stuck in my head and i i wanted to solve that i think that's beautiful yeah yeah you just wanted to help people and and it, think of the links you went to you built a city in space somehow yeah just to try to make people suffering a little less i think that's that's a beautiful thought eugene yeah and i think you'll find a way to achieve your goals it maybe involves a little less space capitalism i there's always other ways. You're a bright boy. It was yeah. going to be we free. Would know. We would know. I for meant for it to be free for people. Yeah. But Leland saw it as a marketing thing. And I don't know. Maybe now that that idea is out there, maybe other people will take it and make their own and make it a for profit business. And I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. Yeah, I mean, take your time. Yeah, you've been is... through. You've just got your memories back. You yeah. know, take take a, a minute for yourself. You're always thinking of other people, which is really noble. But maybe I should take a break. Think think about yourself for a sec. You're our precious boy. Our precious boy needs a nap. I just I wanted a place where people could have fun as they uh, slowly came to their end, and where talents could do what they wanted to uh, and make people happy while doing it. You know, yeah. uh, like Harvey, Harvey just wanted to put on a good show and I thought that would be good for people. And, you know, Don just wanted to make good food that made people happy and that's a good place to do it. Yeah. But not if people like Leland are going to come in. Problem is, there are always going to be people like Leland in any, yeah. whether you're catering to the, the dead or the alive. Yeah, unfortunately, that's life. That's just and apparently death too. So you know, just be a little more careful who you who you do business with, especially if they're able to erase memories. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you you ditch in Leland, but you got some new people in your life. Yeah, I do. That's right, buddy. You made some <laughs> great friends. Yeah. Slash family. And we'll help keep you on the right track. Yeah. Yeah, we're really good. You run things by us now. <laughs> okay. I, I'll do that. If we'll you're going to do any more advice. space projects, you you ask us first before you go to space. <laughs> you got to get permission to go to space, okay? <laughs> well, I'd like... Okay. Uh, permission requested to go to space, spirit space now to... Go see Felix and and talk to everyone about their situation. Yeah, of get course, get everyone their boy. memories back. Permission granted. But once you're back, mm -hmm. there is a place where we can go to have fun and waste away. Okay, in a relaxing way. Yeah, okay. there's, there's to talent celebrate. there. There's talent yeah, there. A job well done. Okay, this sounds interesting. Is it like a play? Oh, it's more than that. That's part of it. Oh, it's, it's got games. It's got Whoa. pizza. Pizza is it an arcade? And it's yeah. got dunking, my dude. Whoa! And this we'll place tell sounds you, great. We'll tell you all about it once you get back. Okay? Yeah, and and tell everyone else uh, to come too. To meet us there. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Uh, we'll do that. I'm going to go fix all this. Jancy said she'd meet you at the office uh, if you want to go meet her there. Oh, yeah. more than you anything. You know I want to go meet her there. Thanks for helping me with all this. And again, I'm I'm so sorry about what had happened. Hey, it happens. it's not your fault. Yeah, you're perfect and beautiful, and we'll and we'll see you at Hucky He's. We're pr- yeah. we're proud of you. Thank you. Oh God, what a day, <laughs> Jancy! You look so different. Do I? Where's your Where's your floral shirt? Fancy? Well, it turns out the floral shirt I had changed into it somehow on the train. Because uh, when I came back to my body, I was still wearing my outfit. Oh, Aww. that was a spirit clothes. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Well, I might want to think about. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's uh, now that's a little bit of trauma that I do not want back. Fair enough. That is fair, but Ooh. I still think it was a great look, and you can try new things when you feel comfortable. Thanks. Thank you. I will. I don't know. Maybe for a casual outfit one day. Maybe if we go to, say, Huck Yee's. Oh, oh, it might be oh, happening oh, sooner than you think, Jancy. I thought so. so. We did just finish a case. Hockey, 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 hockey. hockey. All right, let's go to Hockey Heels. Yay! God, I hate this place. The floor is so sticky. That's part of the charm, Jancy. It keeps you rooted (laughs) firmly to the earth. Yeah, not up in space. I do like this one drumming game, though. I have gotten rather fond of that. (laughs) Um, Children... I I have to say, in this case, uh, more so than any other we've done together, uh, excellent work. Thank you. That was a rough one. Yeah. What was rough? Are you proud of us? Oh, very. We saved you, Jancy. You really did. Yeah, we did. Uh, if it wasn't, if it weren't for you, children, I'd be working in a spirit space coffee shop. And, but luckily you don't have to and luckily, you're back with God. your favorite little detectives. Please pat my head. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, pat, pat. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows, Dancy, maybe when you meet Joe Beans in the real world, mm. you can rekindle <laughs> that old spark. Mm. Mm. No. I heard she might be coming tonight. Is she? Is it tonight? Is she going to be moving that fast? I feel like I feel like Eugene has a lot of people to talk to. Oh, it's tonight. It's and if tonight? not tonight, it's every night until everyone comes. What yeah. if she chooses to stay on the train? Then we'll be here a lot. <laughs> we got plenty of time. Maybe Nancy. she'll come out for this night. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Now that Eugene's back in charge, it's an option. Here's a question. Uh-huh. Uh, so our physical bodies have just sort of been lying around this whole time. Mm-hmm. Have they atrophied? <laughs> we weren't gone that long. No, we weren't gone that long. <laughs> okay. What about like people who've been gone? I guess, how long have people been? <laughs> Depends on the person, is I guess. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Grandma, this is scary. <laughs> Grandma, this is the end of the series. We don't yeah, need to you... talk about this right now. I'm just the cu- credits are rolling. I'm just cu- I was just curious. <laughs> this is just we're having the final heavy. scroll. Like, you can't. It's supposed to be triumphant, Grandma. Okay. Yeah, we're all having fun. I'm was, sure was, everyone just, will be fine. We're all just, safe and healthy at Hucky. It was just something I, I was thinking Eating about. pizza. <laughs> pizza, Grandma. Pizza. Grandma, mm. you're correct B-I-C-A. to have concerns. A. But I, I think everyone is fine. Good. I that that's what I, I was I just fine. Wanted, I just wanted to hear someone say it. Yeah. I, like I was I wanted to be wrong. It's a correct concern to have. Yeah. I was, but I was, I was fine. I'm Eugene sorry. was fine. I didn't mean to bring the mood down. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get back to you and uh and Joe Beans. Yeah. Oh no, let's talk yeah. about the atrophied bodies actually. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're rooting for you, Jancy. No. Well, that's it for uh, Draw Detective Celestial Sphere. We did it again. I hope that it was good and not too much of a bummer. No, it was awesome. I liked it because Eugene was there and I love him. And Julia, I was so sure he was going (laughs) to turn out to be the evil. 
no. he was gonna be the big bad. I was emotionally preparing myself for this for weeks, and he wasn't, so I'm happy. Yay! Yeah. He turned out even gooder than yeah, we thought. Yeah, it turns out yeah. he was just best boy. Eugene is the goodest of boys and has a little pet cat. Meow. Uh, that's why there's so much cat imagery, cat and space imagery. Uh, throughout everything and Eugene. <laughs> He's just a dumb little guy who likes cats in space. Yeah. He was just like, it located in space, everything modeled after space. How about that? Yeah. But um, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I, I really appreciate it, especially if you've gotten this far. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite a doozy. I know that these episodes are long <laughs> and involved. So I appreciate everyone who hung out and watched the show um thank you to all of my friends here for doing this silly little show with me thank you thank, for making yeah, the yeah thank you for prepping it it's always such a good time it's a special unique game that only we get to play yeah very private game yeah <laughs> very private game um i hope everyone had a good time and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be back for a season three. Yeah. If everyone still wants it. I mean, you're the one who has to do the most of the yeah. work. I mean, so. I, I have ideas. Up. I yeah. have ideas already. <laughs> and make your life hard. If you want to make another wonderful cast of characters and magical world for us to play in, we will show up. Yeah. yeah. And be stupid. No complaints. Yeah. And annoy every yeah. one. In new and surprising ways. <laughs> Uh, I'll do it. Woo! I'm Yay. gonna do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you to all the guests um, for coming on and just making the show uh, even more special. Yeah, uh, it was so much fun. Everyone was so good. Oh my god, <laughs> um, so much good talent helped me out here. Uh, thank you to everyone that I messaged, sending them the ideas for the show, and then them giving me their input. Um, I appreciate that uh, because it's hard to write a complicated mystery when it's just one person because then you sort of lose perspective. But I think that's it for the show this season. We will see you next season. And we're sorry. 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 <laughs>